Frederick Himes is a long established farming business. Um, we've been growing, packing and supplying um, London wholesale markets for in excess of 110 years now. Um, we are currently growing uh, potatoes, onions and parsnips for both retail, wholesale and food service, supplying a number of, um, of different customers around the country. Parsnips are a relatively niche product and don't share the volumes that crops such as potatoes, onions and carrots enjoy. This means that bespoke development specifically aimed at parsnips has rarely been developed. For us to have the opportunity to be involved in the development and testing of world first technology and becoming early adopters was not to be missed. We're already using some Weimar machinery within the factory. We've, we've had polishers in the factory for a number of years, so we knew that the equipment that was produced was of, of the highest quality. So our initial um, conversation started around asking yourselves to come in and look at our existing line to see how we could get better utilisation of our existing kit. Um, and it was that it was that time when the uh, we were shown a, a very exciting clip of what the automated trimmers might look like. Um, and as soon as I saw it, I knew that we wanted to be part of this project. The initial solution that Weimar was providing around these trimming lines was really steered by us for a need to reduce the number of heads that we have on the line. That has then developed into improving our, um, as part of phase one, is to improve our washing and pre-polishing um, and sizing the crop so that we have got less crop to, to, to sort. We've been fortunate enough to have a prototype machine in the factory for the past four months. Um, and we've been seeing that develop over time. Um, and, you know, yes, the, the, the timelines change a little um, and the way that we are ultimately going to deliver the, the project have changed a bit over the process, which has been a positive because it's meant that we've actually managed to bring the trimmers forward slightly so we have a solution for this very busy Christmas period that we're coming up to at the end of 22. And we know that obviously with the camera monitoring the crop, the, the trim accuracy will be significantly better. Um, it was quite... Um, quite an eye-opener to us when we had the line survey of our existing equipment to find that we were, you know, at best we were 60% efficient on our trimmers. Um, we're now looking at somewhere in excess of 90%. Where we were excited was that we were we were coming into this process at a very early stage. So not only could we, you know, not only are we ultimately customers of Wyman, but we're also helping them develop the product. Um, and that for us is very exciting. So I think there are two main efficiencies that we weren't necessarily setting out to achieve at the start, but one of them is around energy. Um, obviously the cost of electricity is eye-watering at the moment and we are seeing somewhere in the region of a 20 to 25 percent saving on uh, energy usage through the new line. Water is a, is a, is a uh, an ever increasingly rare resource um, and we're hopeful that this line will save somewhere in the region of 30 percent of the water usage. What started with a single um, solution has actually given us significant benefits elsewhere as well. What we enjoy about the, the relationship both with sales and service is the open, openness of the conversations that we can have. You know, we are going to them with our problems and they're coming back to us with solutions, whether that's the trim is, but we're also looking at other, other uh, areas where we can improve our, our line going forward. Um, so I think it's more the, um, the opportunity to just have a conversation and see what, what comes from what we feel like we're being listened to and we feel like our points of view are being taken on board um, in what is a very new product for all of us.